Welcome to a um, new video today about all the new codings that we are going to introduce within the next coming days. Um, and we will give you a little bit of uh, insight, background, details to uh, each of the products. If you're missing any information, please feel free to comment and uh, let us know what you would like to know. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with uh, the new Nanolex SI3D Serabyte HD, which will uh, be our new flagship professional um, product for Nanolex approved detailers. So everyone who's um, at any point uh, done a training with us here or with any of our distributors um, or with us at any of our distributors um, will be able to uh, purchase the coding. And um, the idea was to merge Cerabyte and um, Nanolex base code, basically. Oh, HD. Ah, sorry. Also. And the idea was uh, to merge uh, Nanolex uh, Cerabyte and uh, Nanolex SI3D HD. Yeah, we had uh, a lot of success with the Nanolex SI3D HD version, where we basically combined the regular SI3D and the base code and had the uh, <coughs> organic and inorganic polysilazanes in one. Afterwards, we put out the Cerabyte version, which people like because of the application and the hardness and all the other benefits and the hydrophobicity. So now we thought about merging the HD version with the Cerabyte and came up with the Cerabyte HD, which basically, like it was before with the HD, combined the, the both uh, advantages of, of both codings in one. It's harder than the regular HD, it has a little bit more uh, layer thickness, it can fill out minor scratches, it's easier to apply, like the benefits, and um, I'm very curious how, uh, how you're going to like it. And it will be the longest lasting coding we've ever made. So, um, yeah. And I think, maybe it sounds bold, but it will outlast any other coding you might find. So, um, yeah, then um, on the other end of the coding spectrum, we have a new product called Nanolex SI3D APX, APX for all-purpose exterior. So you can use it on glass, you can use it on paint, on wheels, on uh, exterior trim. It's very easy to use. Um, it has a very long working time, meaning you can practically apply it to the whole car and then when you're finished applying you start uh, buffing it and then as a real first in uh, 16 years of uh, sealants and coatings you can use the car right away meaning there is virtually no curing time you apply it you buff it and you go uh, straight out um, on the road, which is um, especially interesting for private consumers. First of all, because it's very safe to use. There's not much you can do wrong. Um, and like I mentioned before, you can use the car right away. Meaning if it's uh, raining outside, you do it in your garage, you apply it, you need to leave, you go out in the rain. Um, if you apply it outside and for whatever reason it starts raining right after the application, it's no problem. Uh, you don't need to consider temperature. Well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't freeze, but no matter if it's warm, if it's cold. Humidity is not so much yeah. of an issue. Humidity is no issue. So um, it's the easiest to use coating. Um, it is still very thick, so it will mask a couple of uh, minor defects even in the paint. And um, it gives a very high gloss, 
and uh, very good hydrophobicity. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it's obvious for us that we like silazanes and ceramic coatings, but this time we thought about uh, trying some other resins to formulate with. And this is the case for APX. It's not based on pure organopolysilazanes, but on different other resins that we, um, we try to incorporate into coatings. And we are, we are very happy with the result. It has also very nice color darkening effect, even more than, than regular ceramics, I would say. And it's very easy to apply. It's, it's, it's very straightforward, no curing time. So we thought it's worth getting it away. One um, heavily requested product over the years was uh, Nanolex SI3D leather. Um, and uh, after testing for quite some time, looking at options, we uh, came up with uh, SI3D leather specifically um, to coat uh, the interior with a very high durability but um, practically no change to the surface in terms of feel and look. Yeah. The issue here was um, we wanted it to be a ceramic coating, but ceramic coatings usually get pretty stiff or the materials get pretty stiff after applying them. So we looked for um, changes in formulation so we can ensure that uh, um, haptics of the surfaces where you apply it will stay the same, so it won't change the feel or the touch of, of leather. It's just going to protect it. It's very easy to apply. It's durable, and um, we are very happy with it. Same goes for um, SI3D trim. Also, a product a lot of customers um, were asking for over the last couple of years. Um, in principle, all of the uh, SI3D coatings that we've done in the past are suitable for wheels. They work well. We've never had negative feedback on those, so it's still valid to use all those on um, rim. However, on rims. However, um, we're missing by trim. Yeah, come. We're having no more from trim from the beginning. So okay, so. Next up, um, the new Nanolex SI3D trim, which um, was designed to give a very uh, strong color darkening to uh, exterior and potentially interior plastic. Um, always uh, try in an inconspicuous spot before you use it, especially on the interior. But um, we've tried it on the interior too. It works very well. Um, it goes in the same direction as APX, but um, it's even more color darkening. It has the same features, very easy to apply, very long lasting, considering how easy it is to apply. And um, yeah, best product for exterior trim, especially if it is heavily faded. <clears throat> yeah, one uh, thing that we try to incorporate was the very strong UV protection that we need on uh, especially exterior trims. So uh, this has been done here. It's uh, almost free of solvents, so you don't have uh, any issues with dissolving old and faded plastics. It darkens very well, it lasts very long, and it's very easy to apply. And just like the APX, it needs no curing time. So once you applied it, you buff it off and you're ready to go. Yeah. SI3D rim is also a specialized version of SI3D, specifically for rims. Um, 
also a very um, heavily requested product by customers. All of the SI3D coatings are practically designed to also work on rims. However, we now saw the possibility to make it even more, to make a version even more dedicated to um, rims and this is the result where uh, we're looking at a very long-lasting product. <clears throat> yeah, and it's a tough one because it's really required the hardness for, for the rims. It's um, at the same time very flexible because you have a lot of torsion in the rims and uh, it's very insensitive to high temperatures that can occur in these areas and uh, it's very easy to apply and it can also be applied um, by hand with an applicator or by uh, airbrush or, or <coughs> a painting device and um, therefore we kept the um, viscosity very low so it's sprayable because if you have like um, rims with uh, complicated geometrics or whatever it's sometimes pretty difficult to coat them by hand so we made the version uh, sprayable. Yeah. But still easy enough to apply by hand so that everyone can do it. Yeah. Last up, uh, SI3D spray, which is um, a new product and um, you can think of it as a next level SI finish or SI spray that were both uh, discontinued. So this is the newest um, state of technology when it comes to waterborne sealants, um, specifically designed for easy application to work on every surface and to be compatible with existing coatings. Yeah, in this case we really wanted to stick to, uh, to water-based formulations and uh, in contrary to the previous versions, to the SI finish and SI spray, um, those were based on uh, modified siloxanes and here we switched to a waterborne resin. So actually it's, it's, it's more a coating than uh, the previous product, it lasts very long, it's very hydrophobic and it's very, very easy to apply, to apply on all surfaces. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, if you like the video, please um, subscribe and share. And Thank then, you very uh, much for watching. See you next time.